Education is the most powerful weapon which can be used to change the world, said Nelson Mandela. If this is an universally accepted truth, then the most technologically efficient machine that man has ever invented is the book. On behalf of Yenapoya deemed to be university, as I wish all of you a very pleasant morning, it is my distinct privilege to welcome you for the book release ceremony of Yenapoya student series, volume one on oral cancer. It is just befitting that this book gets released closed on the heels of the World No Tobacco Day, a cause that is championed very closely by Yenapoya University under the leadership of the Honorable Chancellor and the Vice Chancellor. This book is authored by a group of renowned faculty with expertise on various aspects of oral cancer and edited by our beloved Vice Chancellor, Dr. M. Vijay Kumar and Dr. Rohan Thomas. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. To grace this occasion, we have amidst us the Honorable Chancellor of Yenapoya deemed to be University, Sri Abdullah Kunni, the Honorable Pro Chancellor, Sri Farad Yenapoya, the Honorable Vice Chancellor, Dr. M. Vijay Kumar, Registrar of the University, Dr. Gangadhara Somayaji, Director of Purchase, Sri Moidin Kurshi, and Controller of Examinations, Dr. B.T. Nandish. The program is graced by the statutory officers of the University, Deans, and the vice deans of constituent colleges and center heads. Dear friends, let's begin by placing ourselves in the sublime presence of our creator. As Mother Teresa has said, prayer is not asking. Prayer is putting oneself in the hands of God at his disposition and listening to his voice in the depths of our heart. Mr. Aziz from Yenapoya Hospital will now lead us in prayer. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Wa ma jala allahu illa bushra lakum. Wa litatuna'inna qudubukum bish. وَمَن نَّصْرُ إِلَّا مِنْ إِنِّي اللَّهِ الْعَزِيزِ الْحَكِيمِ In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the entirely merciful. Allah made it not accept as good tidings for you and to be assured your hearts thereby and victory is not accept from Allah. The exalted him in might, the wise. In this auspicious occasion, I would like to pray the, with the Almighty to grace this occasion with all success. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Thank you, Aziz. May I now request the Registrar of the University, Dr. Gangadhara Somayaji, to welcome the dignitaries and the august audience. Respected uh, Chancellor, sir, Honorable Pro Chancellor, beloved Vice Chancellor, Pro Vice Chancellors, Controller of Examinations, Finance Officer, Director of Purchase, Deans of the Constituent Colleges, Invited Dignitaries, Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen, a very good morning to all of you. Today it's a unique day for two important reasons. One, because for the first time, the Yenapoi University has taken this special initiation to release a series of books, basically for the purpose of the residents on the clinically relevant topics. And that is how it is aptly named Yenapoya Student Series. The first book in this series, edited and compiled by, and in fact, few chapters even written by our Honorable Vice Chancellor is getting released today. The second point in this particular program being unique is that thanks to COVID-19, this particular event, which otherwise would have been a grand event, is being held between the four walls with limited dignitaries. However, 
the speciality of the today's program is that it is being streamed online through youtube and also the invite have been sent to hundreds of people for this online meeting or the inaugural program which makes this another unique program as you are all aware now covid 19 has pushed us to such a depressing scenario which has kept us indoors for almost 3 months now lot of steps have been taken by the university to keep our morale high and also to boost our uh, faculty and other people in their routine daily activities as a result of which the teaching learning activities research and publication and to some extent even the patient care has been going on very smoothly as a part of our uh, routine activities or the special activities during this lockdown period this particular initiation from our honorable vice chancellor has come to this point today it is in fact because of his initiation that lot of other co-authors both from inside enpoya as well as outside enpoya have come together the topics have been edited by our honorable vice chancellor and all these things have formed the shape of a book today as always our chancellor is very encouraging and in fact he has taken keen interest in the release of this book and that is why he is here physically today on behalf of the university i thank you and i welcome you wholeheartedly for this function sir i welcome our pro chancellor who is always the backbone of all our activities who is going to do the release of the digital version of the book i welcome you sir i welcome our beloved vice chancellor it is because of him this particular program is being done today he will be speaking a lot more on the book later and i uh, uh, welcome you sir i welcome our director purchase who is magnanimous enough to get this book to print in such a nice manner and he will be releasing the first copy of the book i welcome you sir hey madam madam devil i welcome our pro vice chancellors dr c v raghuveer and dr sripati rao i welcome dr controller of uh, dr nandish controller of examination mr mohammad bhav our finance officer i welcome the deans from the constituent colleges i welcome the team members from the n anko center and all other special invitees and the dignitaries probably who are all witnessing this program online or through the live link i welcome each and everybody thank you once again dear friends we shall now have the much awaited release of the landmark volume of yenapoya student series on oral cancer i request the honorable chancellor of the university to kindly do the honors good morning to all of you there is an old proverb which says knowledge is like a garden it is if it is not cultivated it cannot be harvested my dear and opponents it's a very happy and proud moment for me today to release this book on oral cancer written and edited by our very own vice chancellor dr m vijay kumar as a part of the nfi student series at the very offset i congratulate dr vijay kumar on this milestone achievement and i have no doubt that this book will be useful for the students as a renowned sur surgical oncologist of repute and an authority on the subject he also he also with his years of experience in the field of field as a director of kidwai cancer institute bangalore the book will be very useful resource and the and the study matter for many people i also congratulate co -edi co editor dr ron thomas matthew and all other contributors for the accomplishment it's a matter of pride that the book has been published in house by our 
own and uh, printers and publishers. On this occasion, I call upon more and more of our faculty, staff, postgraduates to utilize this opportunity and facilities. Your learning and experience must benefit future students, generations in particular, and the humanity in general. My heartiest congratulations once again to Dr. Vijay Kumar and his team. The first copy of this book will be issued by Mr. Mohidin Kushit, Director of Purchase and Anapaya Printers. I thank one and all. Jai Hind, Jai Karnataka. The first copy of the book will be Director of Purchase, Sri Mohidin Kushit, by the Honorable Vice Chancellor. We thank you, Chancellor, sir, for releasing the epic first volume of Yenapoya student series. We pray and wish that this series transforms itself into a treatise of knowledge in the days to come. May I request the Honorable Pro-Chancellor of the University to kindly release the digital version of this book. Good morning, everybody. Uh, first of all, uh, congratulations to dear Vice Chancellor Dr. Vijay Kumar on on having uh, uh, successfully released and published this uh, book today. And uh, it's very exciting to have done this on a hybrid lockdown model of online and offline. Uh, gathering. So congratulations to sir and uh, the entire team for having come up with this innovative uh, method of uh, releasing the book. So um, uh, I'm sure this, uh, you know, Vice Chancellor's immense knowledge in the field of uh, cancer and, and surgery will help uh, students, you know, uh, future students and the current students and all professionals uh, in the field. Uh, you know, in, in whatever way that is possible. And um, congratulations and best wishes to all the contributing authors and people who have contribution, contributed to this uh, book. Um, and I, I just, I hope uh, uh, that it uh, benefits all of you who are, uh, who are going to be, uh, you know, buying or being given this book i think sir has decided to give all free. this book free of charge free. to all his students so um, uh, that is an added bonus so congratulations and all the best to all of you so, um, and uh, dr vijay kumar uh, congratulations to sir as well uh, on this uh, achievement during during the slow period of uh, lockdown as well thank you dear friends it's now time to hear from the captain himself May I request the Honorable Vice Chancellor and the Chief Editor of Yenapaya Student Series on Oral Cancer, Dr. M. Vijay Kumar, to kindly deliver his address and share his insights. Good morning, everybody. I'm not as soft spoken as uh, the Pro Chancellor. As hosting, the Pro Chancellor, the Pro Vice Chancellors, Registrar, and all other statutory offices of the university, 
the deans of the constituent colleges all the contributing authors my dear colleagues friends students invitees ladies and gentlemen very good morning to you all it gives me a great pleasure to stand before you actually i'm sitting before you on this occasion to go back in the memory lane as an examiner of surgical oncology i was traveling across the country visiting major cancer centers suddenly it dawned to me at that time that as teachers we are not doing enough for the students as on one side on the other side i see the students not so very interested not motivated but somehow like to get qualifications as shivakara the author puts it if you are not a part of the solution you are the problem obviously i don't want to be a problem instead of cribbing about the lowering standards of the medical education i thought i should come up with a few solutions at least i'll try to find some firstly with the help of national cancer grid under the aegis of tata memorial hospital mumbai i created a traveling school of oncopathology and surgery in the state of karnataka along with dr rekha vikumar of kidwai we traveled the whole of the state along with my colleagues interacted with the budding pathologists and surgeons training them in the basics of cancer pathology secondly when i had an opportunity to go to seoul south korea for training in robotic surgery i saw the surgical skill development center at yonsei university seoul and i thought when one yonsei university can do why not enapaya and the result was the birth of asen in our university advanced surgical skill enhancement division which is a unique place where we have established large animal facility currently robotic training and minimally invasive training is being imparted to all longing trainees from both inside and outside the university i was invited to sarja university and the result was our cadaver facility getting started in the surgical skill development center which is almost ready but for cadavers as a continuum of these thoughts of helping the students to develop and enhance the skills about imparting the basic knowledge also when i interacted with the students in various centers and started talking to them about the three r's which i always talk read remember and reproduce one of the students got up and asked forget about remembering and reproducing sir how do i start reading that question put me a little off and he also complained about the volume voluminous nature of the books in medical literature this one question from that student made me think that i have to bring out student friendly literature that resulted in bringing out this handbook when i decided about bringing out a book on oral cancer as a first volume of enapaya student series there was a conflict between my rational brain and my emotional brain one brain asked me there are enough and more books on cancer why one more immediately the other one answered the idea is to induce a naive student to read to understand and to assimilate although there are many books available in the racks of the library very few intend to do this i was ridiculed by my rational brain call it ready made notes that's what it said but the emotional brain said it call it by any name 
it's meant for students which can be easily readable and reproducible i only hope the one in your hand serves this purpose it is meant to be a pocket book not a reference one it is meant to be not in the shelf but in the pocket then i thought only old timers like me will carry the book to make that happen to go to the pocket then i have to make it go to their mobile phones and that is what happened thanks to a pro chancellor who just released it the digital version is available with a qr code anybody can download it at any point of time and read it for the purpose of isbn number we have to quote some price and i have put as price somewhere otherwise the, the portal is not accepting the zero price but it is meant not meant for sale at all it is meant to be given free of cost and anybody and everybody can download it free of cost thanks to the management of enapa university i sincerely thank all the contributing authors making this happen now there are several contributors for this one a few of them were external and a few of them are internal authors and the external authors which i will be now trying to show were some of them were my teachers some of them were my colleagues some of them are my friends and they are big names in their own field of interest starting from dr babsi who was the teacher for me and um, retired as the director of kidwai cancer institute dr jayestri who was the hod of microbiology retired from kidwai cancer institute again and dr lokesh dr lokesh who is the present hod of radiotherapy kidwai cancer institute dr lala is an alumni of kidwai presently a senior consultant in induja hospital mumbai and dr prem lata who is a professor and colleague of mine now presently working in speech and language studies center at dr chandrasekhar institute of speech and hearing dr ramesh who is a renowned uh, biostatistician and professor and head of the department of epidemiology and uh, statistics at kidwai memorial institute of oncology bangalore dr rekha vikumar who was my good colleague professor retired as the hod of uh, histopathology from kidwai and presently the department head at uh, shankara hospital bangalore and dr vinaya kundapur who is an alumni of enapa dental college presently working in the university of iowa usa these are some of the authors who are outside our university who helped in bringing out this volume my whole hearted thanks to all of them for taking time off and doing it in time the list of these contributing authors you all know better than me starting from dr abhay nirgude to dr rohan shetty and rohan thomas for all no new names to you they belong to enapa medical college enapa dental college enapa physiotherapy college enonco center and yrc all of them you know well they work in different specialties and have contributed immensely to bring out this volume and i am really indebted to all of them from the university once the soup is ready somebody has to taste it before serving and that's what professor abhay nirgude dr ashwini shetty and dr imran pasha did by doing the proof reading having got 
many esteemed professors to contribute in preparing and bringing out this book was rather easy for me having continued in this field for more than 35 years but what i had a problem in bringing out my first ever book i in 2000 i still remember was because of the finances i did not have money but that i didn't want to publish it for a cost i wanted to again give it free for all the students then came i fondly remember my teacher dr k s gopinath and dr b s ramesh the senior colleague and radio therapist from fcg they came forward to fund this first book in 2000 through their banshankari charitable trust i fondly remember but that experience put me off with respect to money so when you don't have money there is no way i can print and publish i thought on the other hand 2020 when i approached mr mohammad farad the pro chancellor he was more than willing to support me in this cause and promised me to do it free of cost in fact it came as a surprise to me because i usually fight with him for money today he came forward free of cost then i thought there must be something in, internal there otherwise he won't do anything free i thought i am really indebted to him and i also thought if only i had faraz earlier i am sure i would have brought many more books my heartfelt thanks to mr faraz then i had to approach mr maidin kurshid who is the purchase director of enapaya and in charge of yen printers and publishers who was gracious enough to go through my nagging which is very commonly known to my colleagues poor man he has to go through for a change wherein i changed the size of the book font size of the print isbn number etc etc many times including selection of the quality of the paper i am thankful to all those involved in yen printers who helped me in bringing out this books it looks attractive and handy getting things done right in a right way at a right time is very difficult unless supported by able lieutenant and that's what dr rohan thomas did as a capable co-editor in a lighter way i have to say a good bakra i got because i used to spend time after 7 o'clock poor man at that time he was not married thanks to that status sit with me till 10 pm with the bait of giving him on fish curry i made him sit with me for hours together for him to go through again the nagging i am thankful to all my patients through whom i learned how to treat cancer i am thankful to my students and trainees for being a source of inspiration always asking me question for which i don't know the answer my sincere thanks to professor b h sripati rao former dean of enapaya dental college for having st stood with me in all my endeavors related to oral cancer when he was the dean of the dental college and also for being kind enough to pen a foreword i fondly remember all my teachers and my pranams to all of them all this would not have happened but for one man that is mr enapaya abdullah kuni chancellor enapaya deemed to be university had not he picked up picked me up as a professor of surgical oncology and vice chancellor and forced me to relocate to from bangalore to mangalore weak men wait for opportunities and strong men create them they say but i always add wise men use them at least and that's what i did all the thoughts and efforts would not have blossomed to a beautiful flower without an opportunity given at an appropriate time and that's what the chancellor of the university did it and i am very thankful to him for all his support till date last but not the least 
there are two more ladies in my life who made this happen. One is my wife, another is my daughter. First of all, tolerating me is very difficult. And they're putting up with me for several years is a very good thing to do. And secondly, allowing me the space and time to go after my passion. I thank all of them who have come here today for this function, either in person or by online. And before I conclude, I thank the IT for making this happen and the Almighty to bless me to be what I am. Thank you very much. Good morning to one and all. It is my pleasure to propose a vote of thanks on this momentous occasion. As this program is drawing to the conclusion, let me first express my deep sense of gratitude to the Honorable Chancellor, Mr. Enpoya Abdullah Kuni, sir, for your gracious presence and releasing the book. Thank you, sir. I sincerely thank our Pro-Chancellor, Mr. Farahad Enapoya, for his constant support and encouragement for all the activities of the University and for your gracious presence. Thank you, sir. I convey my deep regards to the Pro-Chancellors, uh, Pro-Vice-Chancellors, Dr. C. V. Raghuveer, sir, and Dr. B. H. Sripati Rao, sir, for your presence on this auspicious occasion. I sincerely thank Director Purchase, Mr. Prashid Enapoya, for attending, attending this function and receiving the first copy. Thank you, sir. I wish to record my sincere appreciation and gratitude to the uh, university officials, uh, uh, the registrar, finance officer, and principals of all the constant colleges, heads of the departments, professors, and teachers, for all and all other university officials for the empathic involvement in the program. I thank Mr. Rajesh Karkar and his team for the digital support, Dr. Rochelle MC for today's uh, program, and all the uh, other support staff for the help in the logistics of the program. Last but not the least, the very important thing, I would like to congratulate and thank our beloved Honorable Vice Chancellor, Sir, uh, Dr. M. Vijay Kumar, Sir, who is the hero of today's function for authoring such a wonderful book, which will be very useful for our medical students and medical and dental fraternity in the days to come. Thank you very much, Sir. I also thank Dr. Ron Thomas, co-author of this uh, book for attending this function. Thank you one and all. Thank you. Thank you all for sharing your valuable time and wish you all a pleasant day ahead.